up, bitches? Cat here, and we're back to Dog of Dracula. Now, there isn't a chapter two, there's only a sequel, so we're gonna get into it. Dog of Dracula mm -hmm. 2, Cyber Monogatari. Let's do it. I love that show. Everyone go to YouTube and check out Batsu Games. They're so hilarious. This is a bunch of Japanese guys, Japanese comedians, uh, pulling pranks on each other. It's, it's great. The story is dedicated to all those otakus who fight against injustice and corruption every day of their lives. Years ago, we defeated the Nodchester and his band of condiments and that devastated the world, but life only got worse. Cyber cognition is compulsory. The cyber bond, an endless sprawl of complicated techno trash, has control over most of humanity. Some opted to plug in. Most had no choice. Others, like me, have resisted data slavery, and the cor corporations don't like it. Nuevo <laughs> Tokyo is about to explode. Sounds like the music to uh. Blade Runner. Great movie. I've got a complex that's falling apart. Maybe that's why I'm drawn to joints like this. I can relate. Desolation is a common sight in this new info age, and I guess that's why the new sheds call it the pre-post-apocalypse. An old saw stand abandoned after decriminalization, lost somewhere between the urban decay and the dire straits in Dead Zone, Nue Dead Zone Nuevo Tokyo. The ketchup splatter patterns camouflaging the cracks in the walls like tomato graffiti do little for do little to help me forget the past, and the cloying smell of corn syrup does far too much to remind me of it, of her, of Prissy, the one true force for good I've ever known in this two-bit world. She's gone now, and I've got no one else to blame but myself. In an all too familiar routine, what are we gonna do in this cheap joint? In this creep joint, dog? Shit, I don't know. Look at his hawk. You're up. You take this one. I've been off the stuff for months, man. It's up to you. This is my permanent address. I'll oversauce here with a vamp dog in my lap and hope with hope far out of sight. Shooting up Kikoman in the dark. Hourly high sodium drive-bys as the only is the only thing I've got going for me. I'm close to the point of no return or little past it. That's the stuff. A little pick me up so I'm better equipped to put myself down. Join all the ghouls I've groomed six feet under this rotten city, festering in a wooden kimono covered by transistors and dirt. A heavy knock at the door rattles the walls and nearly topples over my Figma collection. If first impressions are everything, we're not off to a good start. I know what it's, it's about before the rube behind the door can take the modem wire out of their mouth long enough to speak up. I've been blasting dirt, durst step for six hours straight, trying to shake the feeling of existential dread from my skull. What can I say? I put a lot of faith in the classics. Zayn Salon, asshole, turn the tunes down. He's about to learn human contact, and I get along as well as inter internal monologue and soy sauce, and they don't get on, they don't get along well. You don't know who you're messing with. I've been cooped up for years playing first-person fraggers and flipping manga pages. I'm a homicidal otaku weapon. Don't test me, Baka. Another knock, and down goes Hatsune Miku, a perfect marriage of accuracy and posability left crumpled to the floor like pocky crumbs. God damn it. All right, partner, you know what time it is. With a shrill rim whimper, I pull open the door, the greatest test of my upper arm strength since I spent an afternoon cathargically slugging myself. I give the goons board a three-finger salute. He won't be booting up for a while. Oh, that song was great. Keep playing it. I stared dejectedly at the hamstrung remains of my dear Hatsune and recall something Carl once told me. A man's plastic and another man's sweetheart. Ain't that the truth? A hushed cry escapes my lips and it's not long before some eye water joins the gateway. My knuckles are scraped and dripping crimson like I tried to get the marble out of a strawberry ramoon. Those drinks are a bitch. I fe it felt good to use my hands again. And to be honest, I prefer it to the feeling of conditioner. 
I'm everything a groomers ought not to be, but that's as much news as the corpse mindjacking the poor sap sh sham shambling around the cyber streets. The undead grooming business is hardly blooming anyway. When all a ghoul's got to do is tickle their pleasure center is hit up the dark side of the cyberbon through sauce proxies. What's what good sh a shave and a haircut? It's heck out there, ain't it, Sid? Worse than heck, it's hell. Carl, kicking off, brought something out of dog. A real drive and sense of purpose. Too bad it hasn't worn off on me. I hear ya. I wish I could just hit a key and bankrupt the corpse. Human to vampire dog year conversion rate has flipped down my... down... has flipped upside down by the dystopic hellscape of Y2K. You try to punch the last few years into dog's calculator and all you get back is the limitations of the oppressed and the coupon for... and the coupon for the latest in corp hardware. So it's no surprise he's on edge. You ever think about Carl? The mansion? Carl's still out there somewhere, haunting the conventions, only now he's not just cosplaying a ghost. He, I'm not worried. But the mansion? No, it made me feel like a fry out of oil. I'm glad to be out of the USA. I guess, maybe things would be different if we never rescued Willie. <laughs> yeah, maybe. The sauce well would have run dry a long time ago, but maybe Pris would still be around. Won't you sit peek, Bassett? Just don't cut my tongue this time, babe. I remember holding her and giving her a nervous sip on the tab, like a prudish diabetic might. I'll be home before you know it. Should I put you in the fridge while I'm gone? No, I want to stay lukewarm for you. Pris John. What happened to you and Prissy? She thought I was drinking from another can. The marriage went flat after that. If only I had a chance to make it work. Well, were ya? Was I? Was I unfaithful? Embibbling some babe from a sixer behind Prissy's back label? No, I was just catching up with an old bud. <laughs> At least there's... That's the story I tell myself. But I've got better things to do than open old wounds for a hound caught up in the system. It doesn't matter. Hey, take the edge off, dude. Forget it. I ain't gonna... It ain't gonna help anymore tonight. I'm just so tired. If you ask me, you're better off without her but I've got something that'll help you forget. You know I'm no bit junkie. Come on, the cyber pipe's a safe way to plug in without the corporations crying. All I'm saying. And all I'm saying is fuck your cyber bond. No matter how you slice it, dog, you don't understand love. The only thing you've ever embraced is a computer world order. Fuck the cyberspace heartbreaks and the pop of poli policia. Fuck this new millennium. Do you remember the brains? Do you remember what brains are? The corporations call the prosecutors now. They're gonna plug in every last person until we're all just bits in data space. You're exaggerating. The bond's got a lot to offer. Yeah, yeah. Wolf leaks? We fucking get it, dog. We've got a dog log. Well, hold up. Wolf leaks has been blowing code in the pipe about corporations for months. It's called making a difference, Sid. What are you doing? Is that a joke? No, tell me, is that a joke? Because the last time I checked, you've been riding the flea coat shine train for a while. Grooming can't even compare to what we do. You want a taste of what matters? Let me bring up the latest corporate cable. Dog paws around the board plugged into his head, and clicking and the clicking and clacking makes me snicker, sicker, than a barbecue sauce bender on a tilt a whirl. A frog of Frankenstein, Sid. Do you know there's a frog of Frankenstein? You do now, Wolfleaks. We're talking about cyber revolution in the making. Beep bop, boop bop. That's all I heard coming out of that tech peddler you call a bap yapper. Face it, dog, this ain't a scene for dogs anymore. You're just roadkill in the information superhighway. An inconsequential mess on the spinning rubber of the corp machine. You were the last person I expected to say a thing like that. Dog's ears flatten and he tucks his board wire between his legs. Dog, wait. I, I didn't mean it like that. I... No, you did. You think I can't change things because I was born in a basket of canola oil and anime? Are you really so different, Groomer? Maybe you're right. And we haven't gone far enough. Maybe it's time to expand the dogosphere. Cause some goddamn chaos. I'm out of here. Good. Scoot, scoot, scoot.
I keep pushing my friends away, pushing them like a shopping cart full of pizza pockets. Only this scenario, there's no microwave ding at the end to bring on that brief rush of euphoria. Just the deafening silence of an empty room that comes along with being a groomer and in a computer world. I'm lo losing loved ones as quickly as I'm running out of smiles. Chris, Carl, Dog, Dracula. Well, was Dracula really ever important? Cold and empty. The room's mine, all right. The only decor inside is my antique collection of unpaid bills stacked in the shape of a four-letter word. <laughs> a sad visage greets me in the glass, a worn face saturated in tears and condiments that I'd look right at home. That'd look right at home on a poster fixed to a light pole. Missing since last millennium, my pretty voice wagger. I need to get out of this doggone apartment. I need to get out of Nueva Tokyo. Footsteps echo throughout the alleyway like a specter asking for a pedicure. I can only make out a shattered, the shadowed features, of, but a silhouette never looked so seductive. I'd try to freshen up, but it'd do no good. The soy sauce is starting to hit me like a bag of Hanzo steel hammers. My cheeks are twitching and my eyes are rolling into the back of my head like they're trying to jumpstart my brain. But the only juice left in me comes from the sauce bottle. Hola. Speechless, there's nothing I could do about it. Not now and not when I'm still staring next week. I'm glued to her like a land draugr. Glued to night time prowls in cyber chats. The neon glow of her e-wig illuminates her rain-stained onesie. Onesies used to be for babies. But that was the 90s. They're sophisticated now. Sexy. Not much of a need for babies when you've got them dancing in your email. No, she owns that onesie in a way that spells trouble in capital key presses. I've only been to tw I've only been into 2D girls since Pris split, but this dame rolling down my alley in that dangerous romper suit's got my limbic system lit up like Navi Dad in Nuevo Tokyo. Not a fan of the gorge, stranger. You're not plugged in either. I <laughs> know. You, Casper. Casper. What the working class used to call us groomers of the undead. I never would have guessed it by the board burns on her face, but she must not be the high binder her dress code suggests. Yeah, well, used to be. <laughs> Keep up the fight. Adios. Wait, you maybe want to get a drink? What? Do I need enough? Not, not for me, sister. Well, I'm more of a Bishojin girl. Maybe next time. I doubt there'll be a next time. Who's gonna go for a groomer in the year 2000? It's an old heart. Skellies need prunes a whole lot less than they need a www and a dot com. I need a stiff drink and then a ticket out of here. <laughs> well, I'm gonna put it there. Um, stay tuned for more episodes of Dog of Dracula 2 and my bad reading and stuttering and bullshit. Um, but anyway, I'll catch you later. <laughs>